life from the manual control bunker. Grab a bag of peanuts and a cold glass of prune juice. Pull up a stool and prepare yourself for de 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 Extra's Daily do 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 Do's. A solid two hour long log of hot, steaming gameplay from my favorite employer. Man, 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 man is extra. This stream brought to you by my Amazon affiliate link, your one-stop shop for Battletech Legends novels on Kindle. And as always, even if you're not a reader and you should be, you can do any or all of these things to support the channel. Greetings, mercenaries, mech warriors, and the merely curious. Manus Dextra here with episode four of a new vanilla career with all the DLC sprinkles. So in this episode, we're gonna do more arena missions and keep sucking up to the Federated Sons before the Kestrel Lancers campaign kicks off. So saddle up, buttercups. It's time to make the donuts. All right. So hate everybody in chat. Hope life is treating you well on this uh, Wednesday afternoon in uh, my part of the world anyway. And yeah, we're going to jump right in. Going to do this... Uh, Free for all match. And I think <clears throat> I think we'll go ahead and go for as many C bills as we can get. And yeah, so it says a hundred tons, but we're still we're still down at difficulty twenty, so I think we should be uh should be safe dropping with this, I think. Go ahead and get the rest of these guys off the uh drop list. Howdy, uh, Philip and uh, Ace. Hope, uh, hope that vacation is going well for you. You're uh, still on it. Anyway, yeah, I think we're gonna drop. I think I think we ought to be able to do this with a slightly under tonnage uh, grasshopper. If not, we'll have to go back. Uh, have to find an even shallower part of the kiddie pool to play in. We've got an intense bout underway. This will be interesting to see if these mech warriors come out guns blazing, or <coughs> if they take more of a conservative approach right out of the gate. Arm lock. Didn't really matter. I don't have anything now on. Now we've got a fight. I don't have anything on uh, this grasshopper's arms. It's like these guys are wailing on each other a little bit anyway. Mm. Uh-oh. So much for sneaking up on that guy. You see that? The <laughs> ammo erupted. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah, I like those dual PPCXs. Oh, They're okay. They are savage. Alright. Oh yeah, it looks like our uh, our optional is for dealing energy damage, which is good since that's all we've got. New target javelin. Right hit. Our blasted right off. Target destroyed. Oh yeah, that works.
Warhammer 40k. <clears throat> yeah, I'll be honest, Ace. I don't know too much about Warhammer 40k. It's a little. I don't know. It's probably it's probably pretty fun. I like my I like my sci-fi a little bit. Uh, I like my sci-fi a little bit harder, says the man who's uh, driving around in a big stompy robot. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's, uh, I know it. I like I say, I don't know much about the lore in Warhammer 40k. A lot of the, uh, a lot of the stuff looks pretty cool though. Although that's the one they got like uh like there is like a lot of fantasy and like magic elements in in uh in 40k though, right? Or have I got that mixed up with something else? Oh wow. Man, I man, those guys uh <laughs> it's like those guys wrecked each other pretty hard. I'm not I may not be able to get my 650 points of uh these mech warriors are feeling the effects. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get my 650 points of uh, energy damage. Yeah. Like this dude's hiding in a corner. He's already been fighting with somebody. our way up to fodder guess that's better than uh what was that dead meat <laughs> uh yeah yeah it looks so it looks like the uh when you're if you're if you're gonna do these arena missions the good thing about them is well i guess good thing or the bad thing about it is that it looks like it's not the uh the battles are not, or the arena missions are not going to be tied to any geographical location. You're just going to have to work your way up the, uh, up the ladder, I guess, before you get higher level matches. Yeah, I don't know, man. I I need a cakewalk after uh, the last stream there, Ace. I got my butt kicked on my last drop last time. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, I, I think the the only way you'll get higher level um, arena missions is just by working your way through. So, yep, that's what we're trying to do here. But uh, yeah, you're talking about. Uh, so yeah, Warhammer, yeah, Warhammer 40k and Battletech are similar in that I think they both started out as like uh like turn-based tabletop war games, but uh but yeah, 40 yeah, Warhammer 40k has got a lot more uh it's got a lot more like uh like fantasy elements to it. So it's got like I think there's like like space zombies and I don't know vampires and like I say it's got a lot of it's got a lot of fantasy elements in it whereas BattleTech you know big stompy robots and uh and Kearney Fushida technology notwithstanding that's that's jump drives and fusion reactors 
But besides those things, I mean, you know, Battletech is relatively grounded. I think it's so. I think that's the main difference between Battletech and and uh, Warhammer 40k is Battletech is doesn't have the fantasy elements that uh, Warhammer does. I know, and it seems like a lot of the tabletop people are really pissed off. I'm not sure what it's all about, but uh, yeah, it seems like they're kind of mad at the uh, at the company that's developing the the Warhammer IP right now. But yeah, I, I don't know what it's about. All right. Let's see what this says. So you're passing each new test with flying colors, Mech Warrior. Don't just take my word for it. Fans and sponsors alike are taking notice. Word of mouth is beginning to travel, gathering steam like a storm just threatening to break out at any moment. With each impressive showing, you're just bolstering your reputation as a can't miss arena prospect your hard work and fortitude are going to start paying off well it'd be about time so speaking of that enjoy the fruits of your grueling labor take advantage of the arena equipment upgrades and c bill award just small tokens of recognition for your performance but don't get too comfortable, though. The arena can cut you down as fast as it raises you up. Don't allow a few good performances to go to your head. That's how mech warriors get paralyzed or worse out there. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Free stuff. Never turn down free stuff. But yeah, it seems like there are a lot of uh, 40, and, and I think it's mostly in the tabletop realm, but it seems like there's a lot of 40K players that are playing Battletech now because, because like I said, the, the company that does 40K kind of pissed them off, and I, I really don't know what it's about, but... Uh. Anyway, all right, so let's see. Let's go ahead and get... Go ahead and get this guy patched up. I think we got another. I think we got another couple of cakewalk contracts to do here. Hmm. I think we'll do this uh, 4v4. Again, it's. 400 ton limit, but it's only a 20 difficulty, so I th hopefully we can handle it. All right. Let's see. And. Yeah. I think since we know we're only going to have four mechs, yeah, we should only have four mechs out of here, so we're going to load up on C bills and. Take the rest and salvage, I guess. All right. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and drop in the uh, in the grasshopper. I think I found some better pilots. At least they got higher caps anyway. They need some training though, so. Yeah. I think those are our best, or potentially our best mech warriors right now, so we'll go ahead and put them in for training. Uh, so I put a regular PPC in this in my other grasshopper. I think we're going to go ahead and put him in the anchor spot. And y'all don't know about this champion. I know a lot of people, 
A lot of people talk champions up. Better double check his, uh, better double check his fire groups on that champion. I don't have a lot of luck with champions, I know. And all of this stuff right here is kind of weird. That's that's all considered, or that part there and that part is considered part of the torso. As opposed to, uh... So yeah, it's not carrying anything in the arms. Those arm hitboxes look terrible, but uh, yeah, we'll see how we'll see how good this how good this mech does. The uh, firepower is a little puny on it, but yeah. Four medium lasers with only two cooling. It might be a little much. We're going to go ahead and leave it like that. Just All right. What else do we have? Yeah, we'll put, yeah, we'll put that one in there, too. Yeah, I need to check that one out, too, because I'm afraid I've got it. Oh, yeah, I had this one set up for me. I'm pretty sure I got this one overgunned and undercooled, but uh Go ahead. Yeah. That's probably all we can do with uh those fire groups though. Alright. I just have to see what kind of damage output it uh comes up with. <laughs> yeah ace you you probably picked up the dlc at just the right time because i'm pretty sure they just well well they just came out with the first patch for this dlc and they they claim to have fixed most of the most of those problems that uh i was complaining about where your mechs get stuck in the starting areas and stuff i haven't tried i haven't tried it out myself to see if it's actually fixed or not but uh, it's supposed to be fixed Jackson Prime here riding shotgun with me is Cotton Bateman this match is set to go these mech warriors Unlock. are looking to make it rain sea bills in here whoa actually we will go over informal expressions again after the broadcast Hmm. Well, yeah, I looked over the I looked over those uh, patch notes, and I think it, it said something about um, that your uh, that mechs shouldn't get stuck in the starting areas anymore it doesn't say that they won't it just says they shouldn't or they shouldn't get stuck as often which uh well i was gonna say i, I guess they weren't That's getting stuck i guess they weren't getting stuck a hundred percent of the time for me but it was pretty close lance on my tango engaging lance focus Yeah. Oh, did you see that? Cotton, if he keeps this up, sponsors will be lining up to sign this guy. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure why the cicada thought it was a good idea to come Kofi take us on. Another opponent packing to the scrapyard. <laughs> Building his personal museum of defeated rivals, Jackson. New yeah. Target, Not sure why these guys decided to come take us on one at a time, but uh KO another opponent. Won't even bother counting. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna complain about it. 
Lance, form on me. Reforming on you, Commander. Yeah, what I'm really looking for now is a Black Knight, because I'm pretty because most Black Knight variants are gonna have uh, three large energy hard points, which means we can put three PPC X's on it. Might not be able to shoot them or cool them, but uh, we can at least mount them. Like three, three PPCXs would be, uh, easy button for just about anything you're going to come up against, at least early in the game. Cotton, the intensity of this match has waned. Neither mech warrior is truly going for it right now. Yeah. Neither one of them will become the next great Noten playing it safe like this, Jackson. All right, where are those guys? Oh. Target acquired. Lance, Anybody on my tango. All guns on shared target. Oh man, he just donated his arm to the salvagers after that hit. Oh, that's very generous of him, Jackson. Yep. Another opponent <laughs> bites the dust. And that doesn't Boom. sound tasty. Cotton, this could be a turning point. His weapon systems have been damaged. This could spell trouble. And I can spell trouble uh. TRBO Trouble. Erroneous. Destroy. Folks, it's all over. Mason takes the match a tremendous victory. Man. He'll be busting out some acting gin momentarily, Jackson. Cotton, there's another opponent down for the count. Counting is so overrated, Jackson. Yeah, Firestarter gonna do a DFA on me, man. That is a total lack of respect. <laughs> yeah. No respect at all. All right. Well. Guess we'll take what we can get, which is not much. Hmm. Wow, that's, uh, that's weird. I don't know why the gra that grasshopper wasn't more productive, but, uh, at least it didn't take any damage. <laughs> All right. Guess we'll have to. I, I think I think I was probably just uh, taking all of its kills there. At least that's the uh, another four v four open. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get everybody repaired and take that one too. after this we might go up here and uh although we don't have a lot of money i do have some mechs and cold storage though we may go up and see what that hero mech is i know what that one is i'm pretty sure that's the hero spider let me check that out on the way too i know a lot of people really like that mech but uh and as much as i like fast little mechs yeah that spider is uh a little bit too fragile for me. I guess it's probably good in certain situations. Anyway, let's go ahead. Yeah, we got everybody. Yeah, we got everybody on the road to repair. So yeah, we'll go ahead and
Yeah, I guess my uh, I guess my pilot skills are are still pretty low. Although, I'll tell you one thing: you need to to watch out for even early on. You need to get the highest ranked mech warriors you can find. So we should have some pretty decent bases, even though our bonuses are still pretty low. We should have some fairly high baselines with since we've got all captains. Anyway, go ahead and The moment of truth has arrived. The battle is oh, over. Yeah. Arm lock. Yeah, being on an urban map, this is probably, this isn't going to be a very good map for uh, the grasshopper this time either, but. New target crab. We're going to go ahead and let these Enemy guys. The area. Let these guys come to us again. New target assassin. Boom. Another mech down. Yep. Well, that's on my tango. Shared targets engaged. If I can. Uh, where is he? That mech just lost a metal appendage in spectacular fashion. Boom. Mason skills are on full display. Downing another opponent. Uh, we're Blink and you'll miss it. That component went flying. Mason casts another opponent aside. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Man. <laughs> yeah, anybody who thinks those, uh... Mexico and critical don't uh, don't throw off some damage. Incoming hostile mech. Yeah, just let one blow up next to a building or something, and you can see it. All right. Uno mas. Yeah, it's on my tango. Affirmative. Commander target is now priority. Just gonna use these PPCXs and he delivers the winning strike. See how Mission long it takes. And a lot of fans after that showing. Making it look easy. Another opponent falls. Yep. It's good at breaking windows. I think those are like tier two PPCXs. I, I'm I'm I hate to say it, guys, but I'm afraid those might be uh, a little bit OP. Hmm. Well, we will not be claiming that. Well, uh, hmm. Yeah, Grasshopper might be okay. We need to get it out in, uh, like in a war zone or a garrison mission where it's got some good firing lanes to see if see if it can run that uh, PPC any better because I was afraid when I w when I when it had a PPC X on it that the uh, 
that the AI was not managing the ranges very well because those PPCXs are are pretty good within like 200 meters. The problem is they've got a range of like 600 meters and a huge spread on them. So if you give them to the AI, they're going to start using them at really long distances where they're not going to be very effective, but they are going to heat your mech up a lot. At least uh, that's what I was worrying about. See what we're gonna. Oh yeah, we're gonna go up and uh, yeah. Let's go double check this. We got a little bit of money. We'll go double check that uh, hero mech right there. Get all those repairs going. But yeah, pretty sure. Like I was saying, I'm pretty sure that's a spider. Yeah. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Uh... Mm. Yeah, th I mean, the spider is fun. But, um. But yeah, for my, uh. For my taste, it's, uh, it's. It's it's fun because it's really fast, but it's a little too fragile for me. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna save our sea bills and go look at the other hero mech. Let's see if we got anything good in here. Tenno. How's it going? Yep, yep. Those are uh, those are my thoughts on that uh, on that hero spider as well, Tenno. I mean, it is good in certain situations, but uh, yeah, I just don't have the, I don't have the sea bills for it right now, and we do have another. Yeah, we're gonna go check out this hero mech up here. See, I did, I did go ahead and put all my. Uh, oh yeah, we got everybody, we got everybody patched up on the last jump, didn't we? All right, yeah, let's go ahead and check out this other hero mech. <clears throat> Be nice if it was something like the hero Zeus. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. If it was the hero Zeus, that'd be. It'd be oh here uh ah damn <laughs> hero javelin yeah man I almost buy this thing just for the heat sinks but hmm. Stalker. This is damn. Wow. You know what? I think we might buy that stalker. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah, I'm, I'm not going to buy that uh, javelin. I think we might buy that stalker. I'm not a... Super huge fan of stalkers, but... Um, that's, that's a pretty good stalker right there. Hmm. 
Wow. Yeah, a javelin does look like fun. Mm. But I think that stalker is probably a better use of my money right now. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. See what we can sell. We got in cold storage. Yeah, we got a bunch of cold storage here. I think we might as well. So I want to sell off all the duplicates first. Yeah, that's probably... Well, I know it's enough to buy it. Let's go ahead and... Man... A lot of money and yeah that uh, javelin hmm. yeah javelin like I say javelin looks like it would be a lot of fun but uh, yeah we need this we need this stalker all right let's see what this thing hmm. yeah the only bad thing about it is all the fire all the carrying all the firepower in the arms but yeah let's see yeah I really don't like the fact that it carries so much firepower in the arms but We need we need to put some heavy tonnage on. I mean, we still got some time before the uh, Kestrel Lancer campaign starts up, but we do need to start. Do need to start adding some better tonnage, and this is definitely good tonnage. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not quite sure what year we're at in the timeline right now, Tino. I think we're—I know we're in the—we're uh, in the 3020s. We're in the early 3020s. But yeah, I don't know. Like I say, I don't—I don't really like this. Uh, I don't like the stalkers. hard points so much but we'll go ahead and put that back maybe we can tolerate tolerate all the carrying all that firepower in the arms if we keep this thing in the rear I think we'll go for 12 on the back hmm
Wow. This thing wasn't so slow, I'd be uh, tempted to turn it into a brawler. I think we're going to put... Hmm. Let's see what it looks like if we go ahead and... Let's go ahead. So I'm tempted to do Still got 15 tons. Wow. Let's go ahead and put So I can still stuff this thing. Let's see how many double heat sinks. We've got seven double heat sinks. Man, that is a lot of cooling, but uh, that is also a lot of heat generating uh, weapons right there. Yep. I don't know. I think we're going to go ahead and I think we're going to go ahead and try this. This is probably Yeah, this is probably not going to be the final build, but I'm I'm going to be I'll be interested to see how this performs <laughs> on the battlefield when it gets done. Yeah, I'm sure you're not wrong about that, Tenno. But uh, yeah, we'll. I get like I say, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how much how how effective it is and how much aggro it draws. Because yeah, the other thing, other bad thing about stalkers, at least seems like to me, is they're not all that durable. They can. 
they could definitely throw out some uh a lot of damage but they're not very durable so yeah we'll we'll see how this goes i'm afraid it's going to be too hot too yeah oh yeah yeah speaking of uh turning speed and stuff let's see what kind of upgrades i don't have very many upgrades available yet but uh Could put that in there. Could put those targeting upgrades on it. I think I've got. Yeah, we got an armor upgrade too. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there. All right. Now we got no money. We need to get to work now. See if there's anything else, anything we can't live without in the equipment market. Doesn't look like it. All right. All right. Go check out these arena missions and uh, then we'll go out and do some real missions again. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think it'll be all right. We got, uh, we got two point, uh, got some pretty good cooling on it. It's like 2.6. Although, yeah, it's not actually great. Like probably, well, yeah, we'll just have to see. I want to see what kind of, uh, what kind of damage output we get on this thing first. Yeah, we need to get some war dog. Let's see what else we've got here. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and leave those like they are. All right. Four v four medium. Let's go ahead and yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we need to we need to drop for cash right now. All right. Hmm. Also got to get all these uh overweight class mechs out of here too. All right. So I think I'm going to go Oh yeah. Yeah, I want to try this out too. I got a I got a all I got a all energy weapon hunchback. We need to uh we'll have to double check fire groups on that. I think. Yeah, I think we'll go hunchback there. Yep, I can work. All right, let's go ahead and <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see if I can handle that. Probably not.
Yeah, this uh, this will be my first drop with this uh, this new medium laser hunchback. I do have pretty high hopes for it. All right. Let's see. Yeah, we're all. Yeah, we're all mediums, so. Yeah, I mean, the mech warriors have the green light. Let's go. Arm lock. All right. Oh yeah, this is a This is a Lance versus Lance fight, so yeah, it looks like those guys are gonna be all bunched up. So if I can make them come to us. Form on me. Fire formation behind the command. Yeah. So got this. Got that guy right there is lost. Damn it. <laughs> well, yeah, it's form on me. We're moving to your six, Commander. Ah. Uh. All right. Lance, form on me. So it looks like. Moving into file formation, Commander. All right. Now let's quit messing around and go down and get these guys. Damn it. Oh, we're not going to get our bonus. Lance, form on me. New target, Griffin. Damn. Uh oh. Whoa. Ah. This is not working out very well. Firepower just took a hit. Bullseye took their arm off. This will really impact their melee strikes out there. Yeah. Effective strike. Another mech destined for the salvage yard. You know what? I think I like those uh I don't think I like those weapon groups. We got plenty of uh got plenty of heat management, but the problem is I may have to do we may have to do some uh, refits on this because the problem is cycle time. Alright. See if I like this any better. New target, Hunchback. Target acquired. Say goodbye to that component. They'll have to rally after that. Whoa! Did you see that? The ammo just went off like fireworks. Oh, shit. 
the hell, man? The momentum shift says his offensive capabilities take a serious hit. His odds of winning the match are plummeting by the second. Commander Mason sends another to the scrap heap. Wow. It's over! Mason has come out on top. He really showcased his skills out there. Our yeah. Our opponent bites the dust. Cycle time is not good on that. I'm not... Uh... It's been a long time since I've personally piloted one of these, but yeah, that cycle time is uh, not very good. I have to do something. I don't know. I think it's a little bit better if I have it split up three and three, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's definitely is a good mech, but, um, wow. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I need to do, I, I, I need to maintain, I need to maintain range a little better. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I have to do something about those, uh, Gotta do something about the fire groups. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, that was not pretty. Luckily, I didn't have anything. Uh... Oh, shit, look at that. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't put any... Uh... double heat sinks in this thing all right so although hmm. Yeah, tempted to add a couple of, uh, couple of more medium lasers to the arms. I think that would be a, uh, mistake. Short burst lasers might do a little better if they got better cycle time, but, yeah. I don't know. I think we're going to leave it like this for right now. But yeah, I'm going to have to drop. I'm going to have to drop in this a couple more times and uh There is an upgrade. I think I do have an upgrade. Yeah, that'll help a little bit. Probably not enough, though. <laughs> you know, Tito, that is probably a good idea. But uh the only problem with that is um I don't have any pulse lasers right now. Cause yeah, we're still I mean we're still let's see what let's see what the date is. Yeah, it's still 3024. We don't have yeah, I don't have a lot of uh I don't have a lot of high tier weapons or a lot of exotic weapons like pulse lasers or anything like that yet. Yeah, I think I just need to get used to dropping with it. I think I think the AI would do fine with it 
right now too but uh anyway let's quit futzing around and get back to work everybody else is yeah everybody else is fine go ahead and get them repaired all right Hmm. Let's go ahead and do an actual. Do some actual drops here if we can find. We still need. Still need to uh, gain a lot of rep. with federated suns see what we got over here yeah here's some good those are kind of light <laughs> yeah let's go do let's go check out what let's go see what that multi uh multi-mission contract is and make sure Get repairs going for everybody. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see how that mech does in the hands of the AI before I do. Before I do too much to it, I think it'd be because I actually think the AI will be really effective with that mech. Yeah. So yeah, looks like the hunchback and the stalker both be ready in about a month. Probably go ahead and. Uh, Wow, doing 54 days. We could barely do that. Could barely wait for it. <laughs> See what these contracts are. Beachhead, assassination, and another assassination. 230 tons. All right, so we should be able to do that. <laughs> On paper, anyway, I've got plenty of mechs. We ought to be able to do that just fine, but uh, I don't know. I think we're going to try it. I think we're going to go ahead and get all of our... We're going to get everybody patched up. All right. Difficulty 45, three mission operation, only 230 tons. What could possibly go wrong? Because I'm pretty sure on that last stream, I, th I think that last mission where we got our butts handed to us, I'm pretty sure that was a, I think that was a difficulty 40 assassination mission. <laughs> so yeah, that might be a little more than we can, might be biting off more than we can chew, but uh, we're going to try. All right. So we'll get you on the ground, sneak up to the base, get the drop on them, and raise hell. There's plenty of there's plenty of raised artillery, so watch out for falling shells. If you can down the radar dishes, additional friendlies can jump into the fray. All right, so 
What in the heck could possibly go wrong, guys? Oh, yeah. I'd like to load up on salvage, but we can't. Because we're going to need money. Yeah, I don't know, Jeffrey. I've got some uh, 64 kph mechs. Actually, I think I've got some. I've got some relatively fast medium mechs. I think. Or, or wait a minute. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I think 64 kph is probably about as fast as I've got. Yeah, I definitely don't want to bring the stalker along on this one. Champion's a fast mech. We'll go ahead and we'll throw the champion in there for sure. I don't think I'm going to use it. Hmm. Yeah, I may regret it. I think I'm going to go ahead and drop in the... Uh, do I want to do that? Do I want to drop in the grasshopper first thing? <sighs> Probably don't. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Um, wow, that didn't help. Wow. Yep. I don't know, guys. Regretting this more and more. Yep. This smells like a mulligan, guys, but, uh, oh, yeah. I think. Yep. I want to change the, uh, or wait a minute. Yeah, it's not going to matter anyway. I think we'll try, we're going to try it like that. Yeah, I think we're going to try like this. So, because the three missions are, we've got this beachhead mission, and then basically we have two targeted kill missions. So, yeah, I want to save, I want to save the, uh, the grasshopper, the other grasshopper, which is my hardest hitter. I definitely want to save that for those assassination missions. All right, so we're going to try it. Like I said, this, uh, I can smell the mulligan coming off this one, but uh, 
we'll see. Sorry about the long walk, Commander. I can't fly any closer. The target garrison controls the orbital defenses for this planet. Once you've captured this installation, our employer will be able to land their invasion force. I'll be waiting nearby to pick you up. Show map. Destroy the radar dishes directing the anti-aircraft fire. Once they've gone, our employer promises to land a few extra units to help you out. We have unidentified Close map. on screen. Assume they are hostile and engage. They know you're here, Commander. Expect enemy artillery to be relentless. Mm. All artillery, open fire. Along with the base, all enemy artillery units must be eliminated. We don't have good intel on their location, so you will have to search for them. Or just wait until they start shooting at you. Yeah. Treasure to pick it up. Treasure? That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Cargo acquired. All right. Radar dish down. Well, yeah, it's on my chain go. On the commander target. Target destroyed. Target right. down. <clears throat> yeah, another thing that is uh, making it a little bit harder this time is. Holy Enemy shit. Looks like my lance mates are doing pretty good, <laughs> actually. Well, target acquired. Lance, yeah, on my tango. Could take some of these. Target destroyed. All right. Like I was saying though, <laughs> yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't realize that there are difficulty settings in this game now, and uh, just to see what would happen, I cranked it up to hard. Target acquired. And for those who don't know, I think they added those difficulty settings with Dragon's Gambit. This never gets old. Scratch that one. That's the last stop link. Great work, Commander. The relay system is disabled. Friendly dropships are en route. Reactor explosion imminent. 
Hot damn. Tango eliminated. So yeah, I cranked this up too uh, hard just to see what would happen. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna blame my bad uh, performance on that. Friendly dropship landing now. Alpha uh, one warning. This is Whiskey Six One. Thanks for clearing out that AA installation. Heard you could use a little backup. We're right. on our way in. Stand by two mics. Whiskey Six One out. <laughs> It's one of the more tanks. Destroy it. Target acquired. Ah! I'm detecting unidentified wow. decks in the area. Moving in to investigate. Yeah, it looks like everybody besides me is doing pretty okay at this point. So if uh if I end up having a mulligan this thing, I might just need to drop in something bigger. Target destroyed. Target applied. That's one set done. Target destroyed. Eh, Lance, I'm a tango. Copy on shed target. New target, Locust. Target destroyed. Target acquired. New target, Spider. You know what? Target destroyed. Eh. Let's try to get the rest of the artillery. Yeah. I don't know. It looks like uh It's actually not that bad as So much tango. Focus wow. fire on commander's target. Objective complete, commander. I don't know about that. Target acquired. Cuh. Waste of potential pops, but still a good kill, commander. Man, so much tango. Yeah, so much tango. Shed target. Here we go. Target. Enemy destroyed. Target destroyed. 
Thanks. So much to go. Copy. Commander target is our target. Man, I'm just about used up. If that's we still got oh no it looks like we got here is where we earn our pay incoming battle yeah. a lot of them <laughs> yeah, but, yeah I don't need to hear that it's like we got three more got three more bad guys to get Damn it. Yeah, I don't know. New target, Vindicator. Shit. Incoming missile. Target acquired. I've lost my left arm. Damn it. Rub some dirt on it. Target acquired. didn't have anything in it you needed. I hope. Got one down. Another mech kill for me. Damn yeah, that guy. Man, it's on my tango. Yikes. I got nothing but machine guns and a single small laser. <laughs> Can we survive the final assault? Can we? Force a mulligan here. Huh. That should be good enough for the invasion force. We'll relieve you once they've secured this location. All stations, this is Sierra 1 1. Be advised, we've just completed re entry. Lights are green. Dropships can now land. Sierra 1 1 out. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know though, guys. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm struggling with these because I've got the uh, difficulty turned up to hard. <laughs> I don't know how hard it actually uh, 
it's supposed to make it or how how different it is from normal but yeah i'm gonna blame my uh, poor performance on that damn because yeah i think we should have been able i think we should have been able to handle that a little better than we did And let's see. Let's just go for money. Wow. Let's say everybody was doing their part. Oh yeah, this is the Hunchback P too. I, yeah, I wanted to see how. Uh, yeah, it seems like I I think the bad performance on that first drop that was definitely down to me because. Yeah, Hunchback P was kicking butt and uh, didn't take a lot of damage for it. You know, it's kind of weird if you look at the, uh, so if you go into the gameplay options and you look where you can set that, there's, you know, you can set it at easy, normal, and hard, and there's also custom, and if you if you set it on custom, it's got a bunch of different sliders on there. It does things like, uh, um, like how the AI will, uh, if it, if it'll like target vulnerable parts of your mech and stuff like that. So, uh, I mean, I don't know how well all that stuff works, but it seems fairly, fairly complicated. I also don't know what the difference is, you know, like what the difference is between, you know, normal and hard, because it won't show you that in the sliders. Let's see. As a matter of fact, we'll, uh, we're reading heavy weather warnings out well, I was going to say I'd show it to you, but... Uh, visibility and sensor malfunctions on this mission. Yeah, we're busy doing something else right now, but... But yeah, man, I, I don't... I, should, I don't think I should have got shot up that bad. <laughs> on a 45 difficulty mission, you know, dropping... You know, 230 ton, 45 difficulty mission, but... Because, yeah... It, it shot us up pretty good. All right. So now we got, uh, now we got two assassination missions to do. I think I'm going to go ahead and yeah, we're definitely not going to drop that again. I think I'm going to go ahead and drop in the P. Hmm. A good thing we've got the stalker. <laughs> we got the stalker left. I think I'm gonna leave the stalker for the last, for that last mission in case we can't uh, can't drop in anything. Let's see. We'll go ahead and do the. Put the centurion in there. I think that's probably about the best. Yep, yeah, that's probably about the best I can drop with here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and try that. Attention. Prepare for battle mech departure. Warning. Hangar doors opening. Stand clear. 
Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. This group has proved to be a nuisance for our employers. We're tasked with making sure that we find them and put them in the ground. Good hunting, everyone. Show map. Show map. Man. I think we'll go south first. Close map. Close map. Yeah, when we get done with this contract, we might take a peek. We might take a peek at those difficulty settings just for the hell of it. But uh, yeah, I didn't even realize that there were difficulty settings in this game until I don't know what I was doing. I was messing around and I saw and and I saw it there in the game in on the gameplay tab. And then uh, yeah, I looked it up and apparently yeah, apparently that got added as part of the free update with the uh, Dragon's Gambit DLC. New target, Warhammer. So yeah, I just put it on, I just put it on hard to see what commander. it would do. Uh oh. Lance on my Tango. Uh oh, yep, so here's... Target acquired. Lance on my Tango. Lance attack confirmed. Mech is going Excellent. to explode. New target, Victor. Lance, Lance, on my tango. Target received. Yikes. Wow, well. It was nice that we didn't have to deal with all the targets at the same location, but I got shot to hell pretty bad. Uh, all right. Lance, form on me. Copy. Forming on you. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Once you've found the targeted asset, Holy move on to it and we'll begin the recovery procedure. That matches the class of beetle we're after. Take it out. Target acquired. Took one down. Damn. Well, I can't. Target destroyed. Well. Can't remember the last time I had that much trouble taking out a VTOL. Alright. Package acquired. Yes, yeah, might not be too bad if we didn't have another assassination mission to do after this one, because yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna drop in for that one, even if we're uh even if we pull this one out, that one might be. That might be more than I could chew.
yeah i don't even remember all the uh all the different difficulty settings that you can that you can see on the uh on custom but man so much tango That was not one of our targets. Hmm. I'm glad we got to face it out here instead of, uh, one of those other points of interest though. Show map. Lowe's map. Lowe's map. Hmm. Target acquired. Lance on my tango. Affirmative. Commander target is now priority. Display. Well, I don't see him. Target acquired. Target destroyed. There he is. New target, Griffin. Lance, so much Tango. Coordinated attack target received. So we should have, we shouldn't have but one or maybe two more targets here at this last site. Um, yeah, actually they don't on hard settings. I think one of the things it does besides combat is hard settings also makes I think it also kind of raises your overhead costs and stuff like that. Like I said, we'll take a look at it here in a second or, uh, or when I'm, when I'm done with these, with this contract, we'll take a look at it, but yeah, it's got, so it's got some Enemy settings. Destroyed. So it changes some, some, uh, some settings just for like overhead costs and stuff like that. And then it also, but it also does change up some stuff for combat. I think we're gonna go this way, but it does stuff like, uh, 
It's it's kind of interesting. Approach the hidden object to pick it up. Yeah, kind of interesting. Uh oh. How to Shit. Keep identification on primary. Negative identification on secondaries. Watch your six. Man, it's on my tango. Target Alpha has been neutralized. All right. We've got well, all of them, Commander. That was Good terrible. Job. Now let's get you all home. Head to the evac point. Yeah. Shit. Threat removed. Yeah, is, is there line. any way we can get out of here? New target crap. Yikes. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to drop in for that last one. Because this was the... Holy crap. <laughs> this was the easy mission. <laughs> this was actually easier than, uh, than targeted kill missions normally are. You know, at least because the targets were kind of spread out. Yeah, this last mission is going to be bad, guys. I don't know what I'm going to drop in. Except maybe that stalker. <laughs> and yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Oof. Yeah, we dished out some punishment, but uh, 25 kills? Yeah, that can't be right. <laughs> Yikes. All right. Well. Oh. Two out of three. Can we do it? Can we get this last one? I don't know, guys. I seriously do not know. Yikes. Yeah, we're definitely going to be putting that on the field. Uh... Yeah, we'll put it back here tentatively. So I'm afraid I might end up might end up having to drop in that myself. All right. What else do we have? I guess I could drop in a uh well, I could drop in a javelin. Got a fresh fire starter. Definitely not going to be dropping in, uh, jeez, man. Wow. Oh, no. Let's see. <laughs> wow, guys. This is bad. This is real bad. 
And I don't see any way, I don't see any way we're going to do this without me dropping in. I'm going to have to drop in the stalker myself, I think. So let's go ahead and do it like this. Yeah. I believe we were, were a little bit too ambitious here, guys. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're not lying about that, Tino. It's definitely going to be a long walk, I'm afraid. I don't have anything else to drop in, though. So, yep. I think this is how we're going to try to do it. Oh, I need to, I need to double check my fire groups on that stalker, though. Hmm. I think we'll put the LRMs on three. That's probably... That's probably going to be way too hot. That's all right, though. We have quite a bit. We got a decent amount of cooling on there. I guess there's only one way to find out if it's going to be enough, though. All right. Yeah, this is definitely not the way I wanted to uh, drop. That's what happens when you get your uh, mechs all shot to hell. Intel is spotty on this one. Our best estimates put the target at any one of the marked locations on the map. You will have to get eyes on the target Unlock. before we can identify them. Someone wants this one dead, and we're happy to oblige. Show map. Yikes. All right, so we got four. Yeah, we got four. And yeah, I guess we'll go north first. Close map. Close map. Betty, close map. All right. Yeah, this is definitely not the mech I would have wanted to drop in, but it's going to be the best. It's really really not any other choice because yeah, because if it's gonna be a little bit hot I can definitely manage it better than the AI can I think Looks like we got some bad intel. Our target is not here. Let's hope we have better look at the other locations. Right. Hmm. Lance, oh, now. Damn it. Lance, I'm a tango. Invalid wow. target received, Commander. The hell? Yeah, we're gonna go around and get this pick this guy up. Anyway, just so he's not So he's not coming up behind us.
Alright. Yep, definitely got heat issues. Alright, yeah, we can't go that way, can we? Chill map. Close map. Alright. Go around this way. Yep, I'm afraid this one might be kind of bad. This thing is slow. Man, all right. Arm lock. Arm lock. Yeah, I definitely would not be piloting this mech, except it's the only thing I've got left with any kind of firepower. <laughs> Since you can see we're down to Centurions and Fire Starters in the other slots. Problem is, I'm not good with long range weaponry. much rather let the uh, AI drive this thing I just don't uh... but if I did I wouldn't have anything to drive <laughs> huh. I think I finally do have some decent flamers and stuff I could put on a fire starter but uh... So hopefully Rihanna will tell us that all the targets are here and they'll just uh, they'll just walk out one at a time in front of us and let us shoot at them. All right. Hmm. I'm not seeing our targets at this location. May it wait to the next nap point. <laughs> we might have more luck there. Damn it. That sucks. All right. Oh. I think there's show map. Show map. Wow. I wonder if we go straight down. Is there any way we could? Yeah, we're going to try it. 
Close map. Close map. Betty, close map. All right. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go down south and hopefully we're not gonna draw. We're not gonna draw any pursuers from that other That other location. <sighs> yeah, it doesn't look like anybody's coming from that other from that other site to pursue us yet. <laughs> scopes that can be identified as our targets we'll have to move on to the next nav point wow that sucks huh <sighs> damn it all right well we might as well go down this way i guess we'll just fight through whatever is down here yeah so yeah that does that means we will have bigger fight at that other place but I'm not seeing any uh not seeing any uh threat removed yep not seeing any other bad guys down here though so that's good A nice long fire lane so I mean this isn't the worst it's not the worst place to drop with this mech For. Come out, come out. Target identified, Commander. Put them down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to kite these guys as much as possible. Threat eliminated. Oh man. Damn 
Damn. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, it's on my tango. Can't target that commander. Incoming missile. Target acquired. Incoming missile. Yeah, so much tango. Got our target. Nicely done. New that bounty is ours. Fahad will break open a case of two Holy crap. when you get back to the ship safely. Additional forces are being deployed near you. New target, Shadowhawk. Man. Gotta get the heck out of here. Oh. Target destroyed. All right. <laughs> ah. Damn. Wow, I cannot believe that uh, we're actually gonna complete this mission. Looks like, maybe, possibly. <laughs> yeah, you definitely want to execute a fighting retreat if you're in a stalker, however, because you're definitely not just going to outrun anything. <laughs> Holy crap. Man, and we're just barely over, too. That worked out pretty well. Nah, man, I, uh, I, you know, I, I hate long range, man. I, I don't ever want to have to do that again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like, uh, I like face tanking. Oh, I think that Stalker... Now, Stalker does have heat problems. I guess we'll, we still need to see how it does with the AI, but... Uh, mm, well... No double heat sinks dropping yet, unfortunately. All right, we got, uh, working them, uh, those war dog missions. Let's see what we got. Yeah, torso twist, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, 
Yeah, actually, that's got good upgrades. It's got some pretty good upgrades all the way down. All right, anyway. Yep, I think that's all we're going to do there today, but... Um Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, we'll look at that. So you can see right here is the new difficulty menu, and I've got it set on hard. If you put it on custom, so if you're, if you need to make the game, you know, I mean, it because it's with custom, you can make it harder or easier. You can have unlimited ammo, extra heat dissipation. But see, these are the ones that I wonder about, like, uh, so enemy accuracy, enemy lethality, it says adjust the frequency of enemies targeting weaker components. So yeah, enemy artillery fire rate. And then a lot of the other stuff is like, I guess, yeah, okay, so repair time, repair costs, upkeep. But yeah, these... Like I said, enemy accuracy and enemy lethality because, so according to this, that's that's the one that's kind of interesting. And I'd like to know what that is on hard as compared to like normal. And there, there's no way to find out, but you can see there it says. So, yeah, apparently I guess the AI does. Well, I do know they do target like arms and things like that, but. So. Yeah, I don't know if that just means that they'll like target arms and legs more often or if they target like uh like um like if your side torso has got a bunch of damage if it will uh you know pick up on that and start and target like areas that have more damage. Let's see. So adjust frequency of enemies targeting weak cuz it just says weaker components. And then, yeah, this is so multiplier for uh, enemy accuracy that, yeah, it's just, you know, whether or not they're going to hit you at all. But yeah, those are the two. And, and yeah, but it, the, the problem is it doesn't let you know what the baselines are in any of that, because if you, if you use the presets, it just takes all those sliders away. So, yep. I don't know. But yeah, if you're struggling with anything, you can go in here and change a lot of stuff. I mean, yeah, extra, extra heat dissipation sounds pretty nice. <laughs> Dramatically increases cooling for player and Lance mate max. Anyway, yeah, we're going to put it back on hard for now, but if I keep getting my butt kicked, yeah, we might come back and put this on normal because that's where I that's where I've been playing. I guess the normal is default, obviously. But yeah, anyway, what that means, yeah, what hard actually does, I don't know. Yeah, I was thinking about I thought hard might just, you know, crank everything up to 11. But if you look at stuff like. I mean, it goes up pretty high. Of course, you know, I'm assuming that one is probably normal. And there's no reason to, there's actually no reason to believe that. But yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, if you want to play around with it, if you find the game too difficult, that's, you crank them up to five. I think we'll settle for hard for now. Anyway. Yeah, I didn't know. I Because I literally, I've been playing this game almost a thousand hours. And I probably played at least a two or three hundred since this setting was added. And I had no idea it was here until literally just the other day. 
Anyway. That's a thing you can mess around with if you choose to, kids. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, for now, I think we're going to have to call it a stream. And, uh, yeah, I guess while I'm thinking about it, I might as well let, uh, let everybody know, uh, as it is now, I'm most likely, I am not going to be streaming on Friday or Monday because of the holiday, but, uh, so yeah, if everything goes according to plan, we should be back next Wednesday. Same Mech Warrior time, same Mech Warrior channel to do it all again. But until then, I want to thank everybody for hanging out. And I hope you all have a good holiday weekend if you're into that kind of thing. And uh, yep, like I said, if all goes well, we'll be back next Wednesday. Now be released from manual control. Mr. Dextra thanks you for your cooperation. You will now be released from manual control. Mr. Dextra thanks you for your cooperation. You will now be released from manual control. Mr. Dextra thanks you for your cooperation.